Hello everyone, this is Ashish and welcome to the channel Talk 4712 where we talk about all the important aspects of competitive examination and education, how you need to study, how you need to prepare and revise, how you need to give test series and all those good stuff. Today we are having an, again a very important topic that is previous year questions. Here we are going to discuss three important things that how you should be solving previous year questions what if you're not able to solve a particular previous year question then what you should be doing should you be looking at the solution or what and number three that why is previous year question one of the most important source for you to practice and you probably do not need anything else to practice more and more other than previous year question and test series we are going to discuss all those good stuff in this video Now coming to the first question, how you should be solving previous year questions. Let us say that you are going to coaching institute or you are just going through online lectures. In any way, when you have completed one chapter, let us say strength of material, SFD, BMD chapter, it is over. Then previous year question will also be segregated chapter wise. Then it is your job to go to that chapter of previous year question and solve it all. According to me, if you are in mechanical, civil, electrical, electronics, you are having uh, engineering services question bank 2. So in that case, first solve gate previous year questions, then solve engineering services previous year question chapter wise. That's how you are supposed to do. Now, okay, if that is clear, how exactly you are supposed to solve? What if you are not able to solve a particular question or you are not able to solve it in one go? If you are not able to solve it in one go, then First time you tried, you were not able to get to the solution. Second time you tried, then you finally found the solution. All right, then put a star over there. Star mark it because next time you come, I want you to be able to solve it in one go. Because as we all know, in the final gate examination or any examination that you're giving, you'll have to solve the question in one go. So that star mark question will be done again as a fresh question when you are coming back again to that chapter for revision. Never mark the options for example option a b c d do not take the answer over there because next time you come you'll always have some ideas that which is the answer if you have already ticked it so that is very basic thing that you need to know that star mark question helps you a lot in revising after you will start giving test series and all you'll find a particular topic is weak in you then you'll come back to these previous year questions of gate and engineering services and you'll solve them star mark question only the star mark question because now you do not have sufficient time to solve all of them right so we'll not waste time in questions that you were already able to solve in the first time when you were solving it earlier we are just going to solve the star mark question so this is the basic method of how you should be solving previous year question next directly we'll be jumping into what if you are not able to solve a particular question now this happens all the time with students especially if you have just started your preparation if you have just gone through the concept once somebody has taught you a particular chapter then it is very very possible that you are not even able to solve 50 percent of the previous year questions in that point i do not want you to just look at the solution because that is the worst thing that you can do you are just killing a question if you just look at the solution right Although I will not say that you can never look at the solution because sometimes the question is very very difficult or it might be wrong. In that case if you are not looking at the solution you are wasting a lot of time. Then there is a balance, fine balance how much time you should be investing into solving a question by yourself. Right. So my general rule is if the question is not solved in 15 minutes you are trying without looking, any solu looking at any solution you are just trying and you are not able to do it. Right. One thing that you can do is look at the solution at this stage or it would be better if you discuss it with some friend. There are a lot of WhatsApp groups. I'm also running a WhatsApp group, not a, I'm running 15 to 16 WhatsApp group for every team. So you can put the question over there because in that way other students will be trying and they are trying and at the same time you are trying to you are looking at their approach and you might find out a solution based on their approach, even though that approach is not correct. Now, if you are finding a solution like that, then that solution will retain in your head for a longer period of time. Just looking at the solution, it will vanish within two or three days, right? So you should look at the solution, but if possible, definitely discuss it with friends that will help you retain that concept for a longer period of time. And no concept can be retained forever. Like now, I've uh, left preparation for the last like one or two years. I cannot remember, I, I cannot tell you about all the concept I learned. 
because you have to keep on revising and that's where the revision strategy comes so that question even if you have uh, consulted with some friends you are still supposed to put a star mark over there now in the second time when you are revising and you are solving that star mark question again two things can happen you solved it in one go in that case cut the star mark you were not able to solve it again and probably made the same mistake again then what you need to do is put another star now that is a two star question and it becomes more important and it will become uh, like two star questions will be much lesser in quantity than one star question obviously and those questions are to be paid more attention so these questions will be seen again and again and one star questions will be removed if you are able to solve it in one go now similarly three star question goes and you understand the concept of how you're supposed to solve previous year questions but the biggest question that comes is uh, are we supposed to solve only previous year questions like uh, we all obviously have to move ahead of the competition so definitely we have to do something different right that question everyone has and then comes all the question banks produced by so many coaching institutes out there and there are so many of them and some are very high level and it is very difficult to solve and most of the time what happens is student thinks that because this is very difficult to solve maybe this is the right thing to do but here's what happens in gate examination finally very easy question comes and people do silly mistake in that because you are trained to solve much more difficult questions and over there you think it is very easy and you just move forward so for preparing for gate examination or bark or isro examination you have to be trained of not making that silly mistake in small simple questions so i want you guys to firstly solve that small simple type of question that has already appeared in previous year questions for example gate examination or es examination or isro examination and that is your first priority please try it to understand that if you have solved all the gate previous year questions and es previous year questions and isro previous year question and psu previous year questions then you are supposed to not go to some question bank made by some coaching institute go to test series if you are done with that also go to second test series if you are done with that also then you go to any question bank but assure i'm assuring you that i've prepared for three years but after doing so much you will not be getting time to solve those question bank because here's the problem with those question banks those question bank uh, questions are created by someone who who has uh, maybe you do not know his or her qualification but those questions has not appeared what i'm trying to say is that someone who is making questions for competitive examination is not the one making those question bank you do not know who made it and by my experience i know that the top faculties of any coaching institute they are not the they are not in the content development team so there's no use of solving those questions if you really want to solve these questions then follow it priority wise your first priority is previous year question then comes test series if you are why why test series because test series is also created by some content development team of some coaching institute then why is that important two reasons number one time is a issue over here you have to solve question based on time number two there's competition over there and also you can say that uh, you are able to analyze what mistakes you are making so obviously test series questions will never be repeated or that same kind of question might not even come in competitive examination but what it does is tests your ability to solve question in a limited amount of time that is same as question bank test series is actually same as question bank but it is better to solve test series when compared to question bank because in question bank you will be finding long questions and you will be spending half an hour to solve just one difficult question then you are wasting time over there too and you are not really able to solve those question time based now you will be asking can i solve these question bank by keeping a timer in my head yes you can but what is the point simply go and give test series how much time do you have so that is why i say um, previous year question and test series is probably all you need to know at least for mechanical electrical electronics and uh, civil engineers because there's huge bank question bank of engineering services too so definitely those are your first priority and even in computer science for example you can go for tfr questions and there's always something more which has appeared in some previous year question right so that is more important because that has that kind of concept has more chance of getting repeated so 
so all that this examination is not about who can solve more difficult question it is about who can solve more number of questions of the questions that has been appearing in competitive examination so that's about it for this one i think that i cleared all the doubts related to previous year questions if you have more doubts please comment it down below i'll be more than happy to answer your comments over there and clear your doubts that's about it for this one if you want to improve your speaking skills or if you want to improve your personality my second channel named ashish ranjan is on the same topic so feel free to check it out you can also go through my podcast if you want to listen something other than competitive examination and that's about it i'll see all of you in the next one